broadcasting. It's an important field that has allowed information and news to reach people all across the nation. And while there are many people who have thrived and succeeded in this field, one individual stands out as being an underrated trailblazer in broadcasting. That man is Max Robinson. Max Robinson was an American television journalist and the first African-American broadcast network news anchor in the United States. Max Robinson was born in Richmond, Virginia on May 1st, 1939. And when he turned 20 in 1959, he took a position at a local TV station where he read the news on the air. The catch to this was that his face had to be hidden behind a slide, and when he asked for the slide to be removed so that his family could see his face on the air, he was fired the next day. However, things turned in Robinson's favor when he moved to Washington because there he became the first African American anchor on WTOP TV Channel 9 in 1969 and became the first African American anchor on a network television news program. Almost immediately, Robinson took it upon himself to fight racism at every opportunity and at whatever cost he thought necessary. He constantly argued with his network bosses over the way news stories portray black people in America and how they neglected to reflect the black viewpoint. Robinson's integrity as a journalist and his role as a leader in the fight against prejudice made him a mentor to many young black television journalists. Unfortunately, as great a figure Robinson was, he wasn't without his flaws. It wasn't long before friends and co-workers began to notice a significant change in his behavior. He became stubborn and moody and began showing up late for work, or not at all. Robinson also developed alcoholism during this time, which further hindered him at work. The main obstacle that developed in Robinson's life, however, was his secret struggle with AIDS. Max Robinson admitted having many problems, alcohol abuse, racial struggles, career disaster, but he never publicly acknowledged having the disease that would end his life. He was hospitalized in Blue Island, Illinois with pneumonia, but doctors soon figured out that AIDS was the cause of Robinson's ailment. And in the fall of 1988, Robinson traveled back to DC to give a speech at Howard University and was checked into Howard University Hospital later that night after becoming increasingly ill. On the morning of December 20th, 1988, Max Robinson passed away. Although Robinson's life hit some heart obstacles towards the end, there's no denying the impact he's had in the broadcasting field and in the black community. During his three and a half years at WRC, he won six journalism awards for his coverage of events like the 1968 riots following Martin Luther King Jr.'s assassination, the anti-war demonstrations, and the national election. It was during this time that Robinson won two regional Emmys for a documentary he did on black life and Anacostia titled The Other Washington. Max Robinson is a figure whose work and legacy inspires many African Americans to pursue their career fields and he is one of the many icons of black history.